I'm back at the Wizard's super new secret volcano lair with my 1997 Mercedes SL 600. I just bought it for only $5,000 and it's incredible it only has 80,000 miles on it. 389 horsepower out of its V12. Incredible car, but it is very broken. There is quite a list of things that are broken actually, so I'm wondering if it's too far gone if I stepped in yet another turd from a German Shepherd. Uh, but hopefully not. So today I'm going to go over all the things that are broken with my SL600. Actually have quite a list right here. And then I'm going to attempt to fix them. But first I'm going to go over all the things that are wrong with my 1997 SL600. Starting with the top. Uh, yeah, it's weird because the top actually functions. It's not like it's a big hydraulic issue where all the fluid leaks out in the ground and it tries but it doesn't do anything. It actually goes through the operation completely normally until it hits one spot and then just trips up. So it seems like it's something electrical, an unusual part for this top to fail. The AC doesn't work at all. It blows but it doesn't blow cold. Maybe it just needs a charge. If I was a used car salesman selling this thing I would say yeah no, it just needs a charge but maybe it'll need more than that. Now next is an oil leak. There is a mystery oil leak coming from the left side of the engine, trickling down. Wizard and I need to discover what's going on there. Also the brake lights. I occasionally get a warning saying the brake pads are worn. It also squeaks really loudly in reverse. Figured out the brakes, the rotors, pads, they are pretty worn. Also my suspension. This thing has hydraulic suspension and I was told by the previous owner that it had been sitting for a while and the front suspension collapsed. Also the level is very low in the reservoir. It has hydraulic oil, whole reservoir devoted to it. Uh, so I suspect the hydraulic balls that take in the fluid as the shocks absorb, the fluid has to go somewhere and it goes into this little hydraulic accumulator. They probably failed. Also I can tell because the car drives not quite as smooth as it should, not quite as sturdy. So we've ordered four new balls for it. The car's getting new balls. Uh, which did I miss? I feel like, yeah, we're getting into cosmetics things now, and there are quite a few cosmetic issues. The mirror is going black in one spot. Also on the passenger side, there's duct tape over it because it's damaged. Also, more duct tape on the front bumper, which is what's holding it up right now. And the uh, wheel well down there is completely missing. We're missing pieces. I'm going to have to go to a junkyard to find that stuff. The passenger side door has weird dings that have gone into the paint, like it's repeated door dings from a lifted truck. Um, yeah, so that's the extent of the damage. Another thing I'm thinking I'm going to change are the wheels. They are pretty, but they're not appropriate to the car. They're sort of the newer style AMG wheels, and I definitely want to go with something that's period correct. Uh, an AMG monoblock, you know, an Aero 2 or something like that. And also, you know, you got a V12 and you can't even hear it. It's so quiet out of the exhaust. It's almost too quiet. So I think I'm gonna have to do something about that. So that's the list. I have the car wizard to help me. He's got a lift ready for me and he's gonna give me some jobs to do while he figures out what's going on with the top and other things. So I'm gonna pull it over there. Sounds like a jet fighter. I'm ready for you. You can put me to work. You ready to work? Yes, don't put your butt to the camera like you always do. Yes, turn around. Utilize these delicate little hands here. Well, I don't know how I'm gonna be able to do brakes or suspension accumulators with this or figure out the top or. Oh, no, that's what I'm gonna be doing as far as the convertible top and whatnot. Okay. I've got this wonderful scraping for you to do here. You just want me to scrape this crap off? Yeah. I can't do anything cooler? That is pretty cool. It'll look better when it's done. Okay, well maybe you'll give me something a little more 
challenging after that? We'll see after that. We'll see if we can graduate you along the way. Okay. All right. Well, I can probably put something over the engine, right? Right. Okay. I should have a blanket. Blanket? Okay. Got it. And while you're doing this, or while I'm doing this, you're going to be... I'm going to be getting this thing up in the air. I'm going to check out this leak. Yeah. And I'm going to look at the convertible top. The top? Okay. And the air conditioning, right? And the AC. Okay. We'll figure out what's wrong and then how much money I'm going to spend on this thing. I got oh a payment to make on the building. Ew. Ew. I got news for you, Hoovy. Wizard. Let's go show you. Wizard. Hey, it's down. I got it to get past halfway. Nice. I bypassed the switch that's inside of here on the cylinder, and that wasn't the problem. Oh, it wasn't what you thought? No, it's this one. What does that do? It tells it when it's stowed or that's lifted. When I bypassed it, it started working. Really? Now what can I do, because I'm kind of done? Let's go inspect your job. Much nicer. Yeah. Is that good enough to put a new one on? Yeah. Okay. So what's next? You want to tackle the brakes? I want to find the balls. Oh, you want to do the balls. Yes. So I need to take the wheels off if I'm doing the balls and the brakes anyway. Yeah. So I'll do that and then take a look. <music> Wizard, I can't find this car's balls. Well, there's a the shock. Go up in there. Where are you looking? Here's the ball. It's beneath that. It's tucked into this plastic thing. Right there. Thank you for drawing it. Okay. These are the balls I'm talking about. A little suspension sphere. One for each side, each wheel, each shock. <music> Wizard's hooking up the air conditioning machine. <laughs> right here. It looks like an angry R2-D2. It does. Blah! Blah! <laughs> Blah! So I can fix it now that I see it. But I imagine even with it being raised and fully uh, extended, there's still some pressure here on the suspension. And the wizard mentioned that the ball will have a nipple. It's not like human anatomy, but it's, it's car anatomy. An angry R2-D2 is about to go to work. No, I don't want to try to find Luke. Probably on some planet somewhere, I don't know. Wizard improv is if hilarious. If found him, I don't think he wants to come back. Five pounds. Oh, that's not very good. No. That's empty. Oh, it's leaking. A little, oh, black gold, Texas tea. I'm gonna wait for that to do its thing. Drain it all off, and in the meantime, I'll start working on getting this brake caliper off. That took way too long. I think this is a great time to say it. Help control the pet population. Have your pet spayed or neutered. Oh. 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 Owie. The wizard is raging on the top. Wizard, did you try turning it off and turning it back on again? No, but it's working fine. It's just I can't get it to... It's like these little tabs are bent or something. I'll try your trick though. It's disconnected, huh? Yeah. Hold air? Yep. Really? Oh, that's nice. That's why the check engine light's on. You've torn all this apart. Yeah. 
It says there's no signal. No signal. Nope. It's nice good. and dry. Nice and dry. Somewhere down here, I think we need to raise it up again and look so we can pinpoint it. Okay. Right there. Good, it's somewhere low. It's probably one of these two hoses, eh? Yeah. Power steering hose, most likely. Yep, because the hose is all wet. And it's soaked, yeah. I see it. Okay, well, that's not too bad. Nope. It's 5.30, it's quitting time. Yep. Solid five hours of work for me to do. One brake pad and rotor, and what one suspension accumulator, and about 15 minutes of scraping this. I'm the most incompetent mechanic in the world. Uh, but, Wizard, as Wizard is way around, we have some solutions, right? Air conditioning's going again. Yep. One good thing, the top, it's up, which is great, but more investigating, right? What do you think's going on? I think that it's set for long enough that the micro switches are corroded. We've gotten bypass some of them, we got it going again, and now we get to the next step, and that's not reading, and then... Brakes and the accumulators, I'll leave that in your hands. I did one. Oh, the leak. The power steering hose leak, and then there's a... Uh, power steering hose leak. There's also the steering stabilizer shop. Right. Two minor leaks, so engine-wise, this thing's in good shape. Yep, I'm gonna go home, shower, collapse, and uh, I'll let Wizard finish this. So the next time you see it, it should be running and driving and perfect, and I can go get the cosmetics taken care of. So... Like that. Yes, this, yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching. Wizard, do you want to say something? Wizard. Also, thank you for watching. Till next time. He's a wizard. Yep.